Hey there, welcome back again. It's Cindy. We are working in QuickBooks for Desktop 2023. We're in section seven. We're all the way down to the last video, reconciling accounts. If you've ever heard someone say balance a checkbook, that's exactly what we're talking about. You want to reconcile all of your bank accounts, your loans. We'll go through the list and you'll see there's different accounts you can reconcile, but at least go ahead and get your checking account reconciled. And especially if you download from the bank, because you'll see that QuickBooks will not pull everything in. It will pull in something that's already there. It's very, very important that you always, always, always reconcile at least your bank accounts. Let's head over to QuickBooks and I'll show you how to get started doing these reconciliations. Here's where you're going to click if you want to start reconciling. Before we do that though, I wanna mention a couple of things. The first thing is make sure you have your statements handy because you'll need information from those statements in order to put in QuickBooks in order to do these reconciliations. The other thing is, let's go back to the check register for a moment because I wanted to point out, you have this column right here. Some of these transactions have a check mark and some do not. You don't want to click the check marks because that will take it off, or you don't want to click in one of the blank ones to add a check mark because that would actually throw out your reconciliation. Just leave those alone. Just know what that means if you see it. Let's head back to the home screen and we will start to reconcile. The first thing you want to do is choose the account that you're going to reconcile. We're going to reconcile our checking. Just note that you could reconcile credit cards, loans, any of these that you see in this list. If you just don't have time to reconcile all of these, make sure that you have your bank accounts reconciled so the balances are correct. The next thing you wanna do is make sure your statement date is correct. It typically will reflect the end of the next month, but if it's different, then make sure it matches what your bank statement says. The next thing you see is your beginning balance. Last month's ending is this month's beginning. If you know you reconciled last month, but you come in and this number is not correct, then try to figure out right now before you get started what you did wrong. Chances are you checked or unchecked something in that check register. You will have to type in your ending balance. You're gonna get that from your statement. The next thing is, if you have any service charges, you do have a place to enter those here. The account would be bank service charges. You also have a place to put in any interest, and if you do have interest, the account would be interest income. Don't enter these here if you've already entered them in the register, because then it'll be in there twice. Once you're finished, go ahead and hit continue. On the left, what you see now is everything that hasn't cleared, if it's a check or a payment on the left, and then deposits and credits are over on the right. And what you wanna do is go through your statement and anything that cleared, you wanna check it off. I usually do deposits first because there are fewer of them, but you don't have to do it that way. You can do this any way you like. Just to make this easy for the example, I'm going to say mark all, and I'll just go back and take off the ones that I know haven't cleared. But in real life, you want to make sure that you're looking at this closely. All checks don't clear that same month, so you'll randomly have a few that aren't cleared like that. But I'll just go ahead and check those off again. For each side, you're going to see at the bottom that it lists your deposits and it lists your checks and payments. If these two numbers match what's on your bank statement, then you should be balanced. Here's how you know if you're balanced. Over here, it says your difference, and it should be zero. And you'll see that mine says I'm off $8. Well, that $8 happens to be the amount of that service charge. What I would do is search and see if I have any $8 transactions already here. And if I do find it, I'll go back over here to modify, and I'll just take that out. Or I could have taken out the one over in the register, either one. But now you'll notice that the difference is zero, and that's what you want. Make sure you keep an eye out for things in this window that look really old. If you had a deposit back from July, then you want to go and figure out what happened because obviously it's December now and that should have cleared. If you're out of balance at all and you try to click on this reconcile now, 
it will give you a message saying you're out of balance, whatever amount of money it is, and it will ask you if you want QuickBooks to create an entry for you. If you're out of balance, you want to spend as much time as you can trying to figure out what it is. Sometimes you just can't find that penny, you can go ahead and reconcile it. I'm going to click on Reconcile now, and it's going to tell me, Congratulations, your balance, and ask if you want to run some reconciliation reports. I'm going to display both of these. Notice there's a summary and a detail. This is the summary right back here. It just gives you a quick overview of how many checks and payments you cleared, how many deposits, and then down here, any new ones that you have not checked off yet. And then if I close that, I'll see the detail just showing the actual transactions that made up those numbers. You don't have to print these if you don't want to, but if you had to rebuild some of your file, you might wish you had these. But I'll close that, and that is now done until the next month. I just wanted to show you a quick way to reconcile. Remember, even if you download from the bank, you do want to reconcile to make sure everything is correct. Well, that's going to wrap up Section 7, where we've been looking at things related to banking. Let's head over now to Section 8, and we'll talk about how loans work in QuickBooks. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.